video. I am so excited, even more than usual, because I have got the brand new Tammy Clark in collaboration with Revolution Palette, the Tropical Carnival Palette. I am so excited for this. I have been absolutely beside myself waiting for this to come out. Um, and yeah, I've finally got it and I've finally used it. So if you like this look and you want to see how I achieved it and what we did and what we used and how easy it was or how difficult it was and whether I'm going to cry or whether I'm absolutely delighted with how it's worked, then keep on watching. But before we go, before we get into that, do me a massive favour. You've obviously clicked on this video for a reason. You obviously like these type of videos otherwise why would you be here and um, so go down and just subscribe for me just before we get started that would be amazing thank you very much what do you think though what do you think okay let's go let's get into it oh my god that's gorgeous i don't know why i expect i expected this to be shiny like it is on the packaging but it isn't oh my god that is such a beautifully fit oh tammy look at the thing that's jumping out there that's tammy and rightly bloody so. Thank you very much. <gasps> okay, let's open it. I haven't looked inside it yet. This is this is my first time of looking at it. So just give me a sec. Give me a sec. <gasps> oh, and I like it. The the plastic thing is actually stuck down on this one. <gasps> very good. Oh my god, guys, the colours are incredible. Let me take the plastic off then. We've still got the names of the shades on the plastic. So if you want to keep that, that's fine. Um, but the shade names are also on the back as well. I really like that Tammy has made the conscious decision, let me hold it that way, to not put the names on the actual palette because that leaves more room for more product as well. So I really appreciate that from you, Tamala. Thank you very much. Um, oh my God, these shades are so deep and vivid like wow okay i don't normally do this but let's swatch because i just want to stick my finger in them they look so good right this is the one i've had my eye on um throughout all of the kind of media coverage of it this is the shade calypso so this is like that lime gold color um sort of a greeny oh my god just look at it is incredible that is like just your perfect like acid lime gold <gasps> i love it right what else shall we swatch let's swatch this one called notting hill oh my god that is gorgeous it doesn't stand out a massive amount on me or on on the swatch anyway but that is a gorgeous warm bronzy coppery colour <laughs> okay and then i'm gonna swatch this one called shortney oh my god <gasps> can i just say look at the ruddy pigment my god <laughs> oh my god these are so good um right uh so these are all shimmers by the way so let's do one more shimmer, um, let's do this purple called Destiny, which I believe is named after Tammy's little sister, which I just found so cute. That is gorgeous. That, and Tammy will appreciate this because my favorite color is purple and so is Tammy's. That, you've done it there, Tammy. That is like your perfect, like, Cadbury's chocolate wrapper, like, beautifully deep gorgeous purple like that's the perfect purple right there that one that's it you've done it all the purples go home that's it we have a winner <gasps> right let me just get rid of this situation and then we'll swatch some of the mats as well oh my god i'm far too excited <sighs> far too excited far too excited what's your favorite color so far what are you looking forward to what do you think i should use because at this point i've got no idea <laughs> me wing it as if so let's have a go then at swatching some of the mattes. What do we think? Um, let's swatch the orange, which is called 
Spice Island. Um, just in case you don't know, everything in this palette is named after um, the Caribbean islands. Um, Tammy's heritage is from uh, Grenada, I believe. So this is all kind of in honour of that place and the culture, and carnival culture and everything that goes along with it. So, uh, yeah, so the orange is called Spice Island. Then we've got a gorgeous red colour called Trini. Can I just say, these are so soft and silky as well. Then, what shall we do? This gorgeous jade colour. I'm obsessed with this kind of colour at the minute. Um, so that one is called Definitely. <laughs> Which if you watch Tammy's channel, she says quite a lot. It's like me saying, um. Um, oh, there you go. <laughs> and then let's swatch this blue called Bacchanal. Um, oh my God. <gasps> right, these are the matte shades. That's ridiculous. So that's the orange called uh, Spiced Island. Or Spice Island? Let me check. Spice Island, don't want to insult everybody. Um, this is the ready colour, which is called Trini. Then we've got that beautiful jade colour called Definitely. And then we've got this gorgeous blue colour called Bacchanal. And again, I'm sorry if I pronounced anything wrong. I don't mean it. I'm just very Northern. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes with the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in Illustrate. So that's done, ready to go. Let's attempt to do the eyes, okay? Tammy, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do my best. It, this is all meant with the best intentions. Let's let's just hope we get there, okay? Okay. Honestly, I'm like, I'm so conscious of wanting to do a really good job or at least do, do it justice that I'm like really like stressing over what brushes to use. <laughs> <laughs> and like what order to do things in and I just keep thinking about it I've literally just been thinking about this palette since it was launched so just hi Leonard hello beautiful yeah you're huffy you're having a huffy day um so yeah I'm just gonna go in first of all with my fluffy brush from Revolution and I'm gonna start with the crease area okay so I think as both mine and Tammy's favorite color is purple I think to pay homage to my other purple hearts queen um i think we'll keep things a bit purpley so i think then as a crease color i'm gonna go in with this beautiful mauvey shade called mass which is just gorgeous okay i mean look at the pigment already okie dokie right oh my god Honestly, that was the tiniest of dips, no pressure, and the pigment is incredible. That is actually incredible. Look at the pigment. <gasps> right then. Let's carry on. Okay then. Right, let's try and get the other eye to match. Okay, loving that one. Right, so to say that I've just used like a beautiful mauve purple full of pigments as a transition crease colour is like ridiculous, but it doesn't look too over the top. Like it's still blended really well. It's got on really evenly. Like you can't see where I've laid down the first sort of um, brush stroke kind of thing. It's It's just just gorgeous and I've managed to get kind of packing it on at the outer end and then turning the brush to the clean side and using that side to kind of sweep it into the inner third has given a really nice gradient I love it I love it I really love it I really love it I love it okay then I think I'm gonna go in with this deeper purple down at the bottom which is called girlies which I believe is named after us Tammy's fans, who she calls girlies. So I'm going to go in with the same brush and just kind of deepen up the outer um, third, the outer little area there, and then just drag that into the crease a little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot. So part of the reason I was so excited about this palette is not just because it's obviously by a brand that I support 100% and have done for kind of such a long time, like years. Um, I've been a huge fan of Revolution Beauty, I'm hugely impressed with Adam, the owner, and um, yeah, just as a brand, I'm just super impressed with them, but 
it's not all about you know just supporting the brand like i obviously don't own every single product that comes out by them i obviously go out and buy everything that i show on my channel so i'm not gonna buy something unless i'm 90 percent sure i'm gonna enjoy it so i mean why would i i'm not i don't I don't see the point of buying something for the sake of it or buying something just because other YouTubers are talking about it. If I genuinely like a product, I will buy it. And then if I've liked something enough to buy it, I will show it you and I will kind of share that with you lot. And I like to think that's kind of one of the reasons you come back and you kind of trust my opinion because I don't just flannel it and just say things for the sake of it. If I like something, I'll like it. If I don't, I will tell you. But I, I understand it can come across like I'm just loving everything because I'm not going to show anything. I'm not going to buy anything that I don't think I'm going to like. Like there's no there's no point to that for me at all. So I mean obviously if something comes in a subscription box that I'm not happy with, I will tell you. If I've used something and it's disappointed me, I will tell you. But nine times out of ten, I'm going to obviously like something that I'm spending my money on. So otherwise I won't be spending my money. The main reason in making sure that the day this came out, I think by half past eight in the morning, this was already on its way to me the day it came out. And the the main reason was because of whose palette it is. Like, I just think it's so important to support people. And to me, like Tammy in particular has just embodied so many things. I don't know her as in socially, as in we don't have each other's numbers. I'm sure I'm not on her Christmas card list, but we have spoken. I've been very, very lucky to attend a couple of makeup revolution events um and we have met and we have spoken and i know that if i've got a question about makeup or if i've got a question about youtube um i kind of know that i can drop her a quick message and you know we can have a friendly exchange that's amazing so when i say things about her as a person i'm kind of saying that with a little bit of knowledge having met her obviously i don't know her as a person but I do believe I'm, I'm a fairly good judge of character these days. I mean, I have come across my fair share of uh, wrong-uns and total disappointments. Um, and I've kind of got quite good at spotting um, the genuine ones out there. And I think, I don't know, I just get, I, I get like so proud of people. And if you think about it, like she's only young. She's a woman. She's a woman of colour. Um, she won't mind me saying I'm sure because she shared it on her own channel, she's talked about it herself, but um, Tammy has uh, twins who are freaking adorable um, and she was a teenage mum and you know it's like I was a teenage mum, I know exactly what stigma goes with being a teenage mum, I know exactly how quickly people write you off as a teenage mum, I know just how hard you have to fight for everything as a teenage mum. As a woman, I know how difficult it is to, you know, be taken seriously and to kind of find your seat at the table and to take your seat, you know, kind of, as women, we know that it is more difficult for us. It's not impossible, but it is more difficult and we, you know, we have to fight a little bit harder and we have to shout a lot louder. Um, and obviously, coming from all that, you know, coming from being a woman, coming from being a teenage mum, I still have that advantage of my skin colour will get me through a door quicker than it will get a person of colour. So, you know, let's just all acknowledge that. So I love the fact that Tammy is somebody who has always got a smile on her face. She's always got something nice to say. She has always got an amazing outlook on some on life, on every single situation. Um, could you stop banging? I'm having a heartfelt moment, please. Thank you. Rude, some people rude there i've closed the window i am prepared to swelter for you how's that um so yeah so like to see to see a woman to see a woman of color to see a teenage mum who is a stay-at-home mum as well you know she works hard but she's at home so to be a mum of a hands-on mum of two young children at the same time as working not going to work doing your job and then coming home and being a mum like she's doing the two things at the same time I just think is incredible and the level of success that she has gained and the level of success that she is absolutely destined for is well earned and I just I just think wherever you can support people like that because 
I'm sure that there have been a million sacrifices and I'm sure there have been a million, you know, tired, exhausted days where she just wants to get in her pyjamas and go to bed, but she's going to stay up and edit. She's going to stay up and do a look. She's going to stay up and, you know, answer questions and deal with ridiculous comments on social media. I just love seeing people's dreams coming true and I just think, I just think it's well deserved. So this is why I am so, I was so like determined to get the palette as quickly as I could and I'm so like nervous about doing it justice. Yeah, that's just me having a little gush. Um, don't set me off crying. I think I've, I, th I don't think I've got any tears left though. To be honest, um, as some of you will know, Paul and I broke up uh, recently, which is why I haven't filmed for ages, um, because I just didn't want to. I just obviously I just broken up with my boyfriend, so I'm not gonna be all like ta da on social media. Like that's just not how it goes, is it? So it is really nice to be back at filming. It's really nice to be feeling like I can go ta da. And it's really nice to be doing that in support of a lovely person. So yeah, let's just keep going before I do cry it all off. I don't think I'm gonna put a black in the corner. I sort of feel like I should because that's a very signature Tammy look. And she has included a fabulous black down there, which is called Jab Jab. I wanna go to, oh! I wanna go to Carnival. I get to a point with an eye look and I think, yeah, I like that. And then I'll, so many times I'll put a black in the corner and I kind of ruin it because I either blend it too much and it just goes muddy or or it's like in the wrong place or whatever. But I don't know, I'll see at the end. I might add it at the end. So I think for the lid, I'm gonna go in with this kind of gorgeous lavendery lilac -y color, which is called Soaker. Um, and I'm just gonna pop that kind of just on the, the lid the general blinky bit. It's so technical around these ear parts. So technical. Are you just, are you just blown away by my technical knowledge of all things makeup, eh? Blinky bit. Bet you know what I mean though, don't you? Eh? Eh? Right. Let's, right, okay, what brush am I gonna use? So I want a flat brush for this and I'm really concerned about putting a shimmer on because I've noticed over the last uh, few weeks that my eyelids have started changing to that kind of more crepey texture, which is fine, but I'm trying to like really hydrate them to kind of try and manage that a bit better. I have been ridiculously dehydrated recently. So let's see. Uh, burr, 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 burr. Oh, I know which one. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this one. Do you really like this one? This is just um, a bog standard double-ended concealer brush from Primark, which I then went and painted, um, oh, look at my nails that need doing. Went and painted um, gold glitter nail polish along the handle, inspired by Candy Johnson. Thank you very much. Right, let's use this one then. Which end shall I use? Oh, oh my God, can you see that? Okay, so this is dry. Just one swipe. Tammy! Do you know, actually, as well, it isn't too bad texture-wise on my eyelids, so that's fine. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my first bit of fallout, and it is one speck, and I think it was the brush, not the shadow. Oh my god, I love that colour. I love that colour. I'm thinking of either using this one as an inner corner, or this sort of jady green shimmer, which just looks beautiful. What's that one called? That one's called Greens. So let's swatch this one. Oh, look. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one. I'm just, I'm obsessed. Whenever I've seen this being swatched, either on Tammy or Carmi's video, I've just been like, ah, it just looks incredible. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use that one for the inner corner. So let me just go and do the rest of my face. And then we'll come back and talk inner corner and under eye. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll go from there. Okay, so we're back and I've got a bit of a confession because I already went and did everything and completed the look. So, ta-da! What do we think to the final look? Oh my God, I am in love with this palette. Okay, so I look a little differently from last time I saw you. 
So I went ahead and did my eyeliner and lashes. I've actually used Tammy's lashes from Tammy's own lash collection. So I'll leave a link down in the description box if you want to go and have a look at those because these are some of the most comfortable, lightweight lashes I have worn. The band is really, really thin so you don't get that kind of like stamped appearance. Um, so you can still make your liner look really natural. Well, as natural as eyeliner gets. Um, so yeah. So basically, I've been and finished it off. I've put greens on the inner corner, which is this beautiful, um, pigmented, vivid kind of greeny jade shimmer colour, which I'm just obsessed with. That is definitely getting used as a main colour next. I love it so flipping much. Um, I've then put... I then used girlies on the lower lash line as well um, and that's been it for the lower lash line. I've just gone in with that just to bring the look together a little bit. I didn't put any black on the outer Vs because I felt like once I put my liner on and once I've got my lashes on, my eyes are so small, it kind of doesn't need it because I get that kind of dramatic uh, point with my eyeliner anyway. I've also gone and used girlies um, around the edge. I don't know if you can see this. Let me come closer. I've also got a new girlies as a bit of a stencil around the edge there as well, just around there, and just on the little uh, little temple region up this side too, which I'm loving. <gasps> just something a little different. And then I've got um, some lovely little face jewels on as well in honour of this being the Tropical Carnival palette. <gasps> so excited. So... In terms of what I think of this palette, um, I'm absolutely in love. The shades are actually really, really nice to use. I was absolutely terrified of using this palette because it is such a vibrant, colourful palette and I'm not used to working with such vibrant, bold colours. But I'm learning and I'm getting there and I'm really pleased with this. I'm really pleased. Like, I'd go out. Let's, shall we go out? Anybody want to come out with me? Let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go and party. So even though it's kind of a fairly monochrome look on the eye where I've got so three different shades of purple, um, it still looks like it's got depth and it still looks like it's built into a shape, which is just wonderful. I really love it. Congratulations, Tammy. This palette is absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to see what other looks I can come up with with it. And I'm so excited just for everything you've got going on in the future. Absolutely the biggest cuddles to you. I just, I'm so proud of you and I'm so happy for you. So I really hope you have all enjoyed this video. I really hope if Tammy sees it, she enjoys it. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favourite part is down in the description. Let me know if there's any other looks you want me to try with this one. What other colours do you think I should use next? Let me know in the comments as well if there's anything you want me to try out. If there's anything you've seen and thought, ooh, Layla can have a go at that. Um, just... Just let me know. Um, yeah. Tell me what your favourite bit was. Do you like it? Is this a bit too out there? Um, would you wear something like this? And where is the nearest party? Let's just get going. Anybody got a carnival they want to invite me to? So that's me done. If you've liked this video, please make sure you let me know in the comments. Please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And please make sure you're subscribed. Why would you not? Go on, just go and subscribe and we have such a wonderful time. Also, I want to start giving shout outs to my wonderful, wonderful viewers. So if you want to shout out in my next video, make sure you leave me um, a comment and let me know. In fact, what should we do? What should we do? If you want me to shout you out, leave me a purple heart in the comments. Have an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing. Remember, I love you very, very lots and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.